Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm going to make a video. It's going to be a multi-part video. This first part is going to be getting your computer ready to install Kodi the way I do, and that's including using a MySQL server. Um, first, I'm going to go over in this video how to set up a network share, how to name your movie files and video files, your media files, so that Kodi will scan them incorrectly. And then I'm going to go over the devices I use and maybe the hardware that I use too um, for my Kodi Media Center. First, I have three. I have a computer. I have a server computer that's hooked to a TV, which acts as a Kodi box for TV. And it also has the MySQL on it, which controls the other TVs. Um, so I have two TVs and one computer that I watch Kodi on. Uh, everything is centralized, so I'm going to give an example of what we're going to set up, and then I'm going to go uninstall everything and show you how to set up everything from scratch as if you were doing it yourself. So um, first thing is I use a tablet. You can use a tablet or a phone for a remote for Kodi for your TVs. I recommend doing that. There's two programs I use. Um, first, first is this unified remote, and this screen right here, this SMT280, this is actually my tablet. I'm using Visor to be able to show you what's going on on my tablet. So th this screen here, this T SMT280, is actually my tablet working right now, and it's set up to control my computer right now. So the first one this unified remote here there's a server app and an app you install on the google play store and i'm pretty sure they have it for apple too stop using apple people but anyway so this unified app you want to download the latest server and you want to install that on the computer that you want to control and then right here is screen capture from my tablet so if i close this all right so this is my tablet interface i use yahtzee and unified remote first i'll show you unified remote so i'll open unified remote on my tablet and then it has all these things i pretty much sit on the basic input this is the basic input and this is a mouse. You can see me moving the mouse around. If you double click, it'll it'll do a, if I double click not on this. Here, let me get that out of there. All right. So, and if you double click, it'll right click pretty much like normal. Um, the nice thing about this is that it has this power feature over here. If you hit on the upper right, over here and you'd be doing this on your tablet obviously um, this power I use a lot if you have wake on LAN you can wake up the computer from a, a completely 100% powered off you can restart it you can shut down the computer put it to sleep um, I use this a lot actually so I don't have to get up and go restart a computer in another room uh, doo -doo -doo. It's pretty easy to set up. So once you have the application, the server app installed on your computer, um, if you just click servers here, you should see them sh show up down here. And then you can just click on them and it'll add it up here. And then they're saved. Uh, if you want to go into these and hold down on them and then hit this top one here, you can actually edit, edit them so you can change the ports, MAC address, all that stuff. You shouldn't have to do that though. You can just install the app on your tablet or phone and then install the server client on the computer and this will just show up like, but I'm gonna close that. So this is Yahtzee. This is specifically a Kodi remote for smartphones, tablets, um, Apple devices. I think it's on Apple, I'm sure too. Uh, so this, this thing is awesome, all right? Without this, it Cody is not half as good as it can be with this it's amazing so this is going to be kind of hard to understand maybe but so again this is my tablet I'm actually pushing this on my tablet here so I'm pushing right right now and then left 
I can just use the mouse, but you would push your these with your fingers on your tablet, obviously. So you have your tablet over here, and you can go to movies, and you can control it. You know, th what's awesome about this is it also has your movies over here, right? So if you hold down on this movies, you'll see it scan in up here, and it'll scan in all the movies from Cody that you have. So you can go, let's let's say, uh, let me mute this. For uh, copyright reasons and whatnot. All right. So all right. So you can be watching a movie on Cody here and on your tablet over here. You can be go to your movies. You can scroll through them. So I'm scrolling up on this now. It has all the folders. There's different views you can do um, like a small small grid like so. And this is all while something's playing on the TV on Cody. You do this on your tablet, right? Uh, let me get a good view here so this is my favorite one because the movie posters are bigger it shows the synopsis you just can't scroll through them as fast because there's less on the screen at a time but say you're watching a movie that's playing on Cody right now right you can go through and hold down on a movie like that and then tap other movies you see the ones that are gray highlighted right and you're running through your movies while you're watching a movie. You're running through them on your tablet like this. And then in the upper right up here, if you click that, right, then that'll actually cue them. So now I just queued a bunch of movies while I'm watching a movie on Cody. It's awesome. I think it's awesome. So, and then this is the home screen on Yahtzee, right, the Cody remote. So if you scroll up like this, and then if you, you know, swipe up, quick on it like that it'll get to the other movies you just queued you can actually move these around right so you can add more um, the current movie that's playing if you're up here and hit info this is gonna show you the information about the current movie I think the current movie yeah okay so, yeah, it shows you the info about the current movie. Uh, um, and then from in here, you can click on cast, and it'll actually bring up all the other movies you have with that person in it. You can click on another movie. You can go down here. You can see the cast. Uh, I want to see all the movies that I have in my Cody of, I don't know, whoever the hell this lady is right brings up all the movies she's in and so on well i guess she's only in one that i have but so on and so on right so bring up all peter dinklage's movies he's pretty awesome um so yeah these are all the movies i have that he's in this movie's sweet by the way if you haven't seen this check this out it's an awesome movie good indie movie um but anyway yeah and it shows all this info it shows the director the rating the name and then this is important too because cody doesn't do this right inside of cody at least that i know of besides going to your actual files it doesn't show the path so if you're in cody and you need to delete something or change something or modify a movie or it's not scanning in right or it scans in wrong, more importantly. So if you scan in all your movies in Cody and you go to your library and a movie isn't correct, there's no way from that movie to see where it's located. At least with this, with the Yahtzee remote on your tablet, you can go to your movie that is scanned in in your library and you can see the actual path where the file is, right? So that's important too. Anyway, this thing's awesome. There's a lot more you can do with Yahtzee and maybe I'll do a video just on this one day but 
Um, let me see if there's anything else we need to cover here with Yahtzee. Anyway, use Yahtzee. Buy the paid app. I think it's like five bucks or something. I've bought it multiple times over, and I even I don't need to give them any more money, but I do. It's that good of a remote for Cody that uh, I don't know. It's just that good. So if I got extra money, sometimes I'll just go and give them. And Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you made it this far, that's great. This was just kind of an overview of the tools I use. The next video will be how to set up network shares, which you'll need for Kodi um, to be able to access the files and also how to name those files so that they scan into Kodi correctly. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. And by the end of these videos, you'll have an awesome Kodi setup with MySQL. I promise you that.